Hampton, Georgia is the site of the 20th race of the season. Welcome to the NASCAR Spidey Dicko Cup Series here in Atlanta Motor Speedway. Atlanta Motor Speedway hosts its second race event this season. It has been a very long time since Atlanta Motor Speedway has hosted two NASCAR Cup events. So let's have a look here at the race analysis for today's 400 kilometers. So, of course, we got 38 cars that have shown up today, as said before, for the 400 kilometers, eight laps around this 1.5 mile and a half um, racetrack. And, of course, also Georgia boy Chase Elliott is on the pole for today's race. This racetrack right here opened in 1960, and we are about to see some grand racing here today as... After today's race, this track will be turned into a mini super speedway next year, so that should be interesting. Base car heads down the pit road as Chase Elliott, Kyle Busch leads us down to the green. We're racing in Atlanta once again. Chase Elliott gets it a great jump, getting a push there from the 18 to Kyle Busch. Here comes Kyle Larson leading Kurt Busch and Ross Chastain. A line of Toyotas up in the high side. Look at all this right here. Chase Elliott comes back to the stripe and leads lap one here today. Up at eyesight he goes. Oh, Kyle Busch. He's going to spin hard into the wall there. Oh, and a big crash behind the backstretch. One car on his side. That's the aid of Tyler Reddick. And wow, so many cars got caught up in that. Corey LeJoy is on the... Deck lid of, I can't tell who's that, 34? But yeah, Kyle Busch got loose entering turn two and then caused a multi-car wreck right there. The three and the 12, the three, 12, and 24 were also involved in that one. However, though, they're um getting word actually here that they're okay. However, though, uh, NASCAR quickly displayed uh, the red flag here today, and um, wow. Earlier in the year at Atlanta, the previous Atlanta race, we had a big one on the front stretch, and now we have a big one on the back stretch. Wow. So, coming back here, uh, of course, now this race right here, as said before, uh, if you don't really know, it's a sprint. So, this race is going to go by really quickly here in a jiffy. So, as you can see that we're now coming up to lap six of eight and crossing that line we will have it will officially be another green white checker we have we've had a lot of green white checkers this season however though one thing i have to commend to to these drivers is that they haven't wrecked as much to cause an overtime finish it's been a very long time since we had an overtime finish that is for sure. And so we're going to see who's going to win it between Chase Elliott or Kyle Larson. Larson going for the Atlanta sleep. Green, white, green and white out here again. Kyle Larson does not get a good jump. There goes Chase Elliott. And there goes Kevin Harvick. Mr. Where did he come from? Oh, they're banging down the backstretch. Look at them go. Harvick gets the slide edge over Chase Elliott. And coming back around, Harvick will win once again in Atlanta. And Ross Chastain spins down in for the infield grass. And unofficially, he will finish 7th here today in Atlanta. But Kevin Harvick gets win number 3 here in Atlanta. And of course, Harvick has had a very um, rough season this year. Now, of course... Um, and this is his first win this year. And, um, of course, if any of you may not know, he was the last time we were, or excuse me, last year in Atlanta, he was able to get his second win that year, back in uh, back last year in 2020. And 2021, he wins here again in Atlanta in the Quaker State 400K. But wow, though, Chase Elliott, though, was so close to winning here in his hometown track at, at Atlanta. And I can tell you what, uh, the Chase Elliott Nation 
going to really be hurt by that as Harvick wins for the first time in 2021. And to round up and to talk about the top 10, it is Chase Elliott, Denny Hamlin, Kyle Larson, Kurt Busch rounds up the top five. Then it is Christopher Bell. He still leads the points. Then I got Ross Chastain, Ryan Newman, Josh Berry, and Bubba Wallace all finish in the top 10. And then from there, uh, we have BJ McLeod, a very nice run for the Live Fath Motorsports team. And then, of course, Cole Custer, AJ Allmendinger, uh, Daniel Suarez, William Byron, uh, Ryan Blaney, Anthony Alfredo, and JJ Yaley. Justin Haley wraps up the running cars. And here is a list of the drivers that got knocked out. So that is going to be Kyle Busch, Ricky Stenhouse, Michael McDowell, Ryan Priest, Eric Jones, Austin Sendrick, Martin Trix Jr., Eric Gombrola, Chase Briscoe, Tyler Reddick, Christopher Buescher, then it is Matt Benedetto, Joey Logano, Alex Bowman, Brad Keselowski, Garrett Smithley, and then it is Joey Gase and the Spire Motorsports entry of Corey LaJoy. So another big crash here. Half of the field got take out of this one. So we look forward to see you once again as NASCAR goes up, up to the Far East, New England. New Hampshire.